Have you ever wondered how you can install a WordPress on your local machine? Yes, you can. It's possible. We have a solution for that. You can run an XAMPP server or WAMP server, but in our case, we're going to use WAMP server. WAMP server is a software stack for Microsoft Office operating system, which is, consists of Apache, Web Server, MySQL database, and PHP program language. In this tutorial, we're going to show you guys how you can install it. Web Server is coming. Hello guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to Smart Spain Information Technology Blog. This channel is all about to help you guys understand an IT field in a practical way. To verify what it's, uh, how many bits of system is consist. What I mean by bit system is if your system running on 32 bits or your system running on 64 bit. In my case 64, but if you don't know how you can check it out, I'm gonna show you a easy way just over on your uh, computer and by right clicking select the properties and from that uh, open window you're gonna see that it's 64 bit system which is my case in your case it could be different so now we know uh, if it's 64 or 32 just close it down and go to your browser uh, select web server just type it in web uh, server.com and it's gonna prompt you uh, it's gonna open up a web server website page and now we uh, scrolling down and we should see the download option that for 64 bit and the one is for 32 bit now we have to select which one is more fits for your computer in my case I'm gonna select 64 bits and just if you're not sure don't rush to click download link just read all through if you want to know what it's talking about and whenever you satisfy what it's saying just hit download and it's gonna redirect to the source force of course source force uh, has a lot of some uh, worms uh, spyware all the option what I recommend you guys whenever you download it whenever you download it just scan your download file just just in case that's what I'm usually doing with your antivirus if you doesn't have antivirus which is you should have one but probably 99.9% .9 you guys should have an antivirus installed on your computer so just scan with antivirus and uh, what is plus to that you can do just scan this uh, download file with a malware byte or anything uh, to check if it uh, consists any malwares inside of this uh, zip file so whenever you download it, I'm not gonna download it because I already downloaded it uh, whenever you download it, just close all the windows down uh, navigate to your uh, navigate to your do uh, download folders and you should see uh, the download file something like that. This is not downloading file. It's just image, but in your case It should be like executable files In my case, uh, if I have not deleted these files Yeah, so that's what it should looks like as I'm calling web server the uh, the, the current version is 3.1.064 bit system so whenever you are writing just uh, by right-clicking and run as administrator you can run this and download a file on your computer and just wait a while it's gonna load it up it's gonna prompt you to click yes if you allow this application to make changes on your computer and after that you're gonna see the screen I was selecting the language just select language after they accept policy, click next, next, and just read through all this um, uh, policy configuration. What it's saying. If you if you scare a lot of this computer to make changes on your computer, just read all through and click next, 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 and install it on your computer. That's the first part. I'm not gonna install it because I have already installed this in my computer, as you can see from the. Here, I just uh, uh, drag it to my taskbar so I can easily access it. 
After you have installed your web server on your local machine, now we can try to run it. So go to your, uh, if you install the shortcut on your desktop, just click twice on it. If you, uh, if you not select to install the shortcut on your desktop, just hover to your uh, Windows menu and you can find your install uh, web server on your, just scroll down up and just search for this or better just type it in on the search bar on Windows just BAMP server and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna find your web server uh, if it has a 64 32-bit system I'm just going uh, over to my uh, shortcut which is in taskbar and click twice it's gonna ask me again if I wanna run this application now we should see the icon from the top uh, right corner wait till it's gonna be orange and, and green it should it should it should become green which it stays for on if it's not green it's remain on orange at the problem with connection or configuration with your uh, <coughs> PHP admin server uh, in, this, uh, in this tutorial I'm not going to explain you how you can change the port and uh, troubleshoot your web server that you can find in the next part uh, but in this tutorial I'm just going to show you if it's working and how you can create a database on your local uh, uh, web server so that you can install in this database your uh, for instance WordPress website and run it like if you uh, paying money for your web hosting company and uh, and log to your web hosting company PHP admin panel. So it's pretty much same things, but it just work on your local computer. So uh, if you see that it's green one, if you click right click, you get by right clicking on it, you just see the one option tools. Restarting and check to some. Um, port numbers uh, and checking the port number that have been assigned previously or it's just taking the port that is selected by default web server setting languages that you can select to run this web server what I like in this web server it have a bunch of language that it can translate it to which is pretty cool I guess so just one click on this web server and you're gonna see the window just drop down window from here and it's gonna tell you local host and that's you can click on it if your website already running on your local web server which is PHP MyAdmin. if you're not set up ready because if you just listening look in this video it means that you not set up your uh, for instance WordPress any web platform running on this PHP server so we need to set up first PHP MyAdmin server. First we need to click on it. It's gonna if it's working by default on default ports it's gonna open up. But in my case I changed ports from default one to my ports because it, uh, it was some problem with connecting to the server by default port which is port 80. So uh, if you wanna change the port, uh, it's gonna explain in the next part of the video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can set up just and, for instance, run your uh, website on on your uh, uh, on your web server. So now, if uh, you wanna check what ports I have created, I have to go to HTTP my config file and check the ports 2869. That's the ports I have set up for my web server. So now let's go to to localhost and and put this uh, port number right after the localhost. And whenever you put this, this port number, because it's open up, it should open your PHP mapping panel. This should be what it looks like when you set up your PHP my server and it's running on default port 80. If it's not succeed this screen, it means that your port port 80 is blocked or used by some different application. Uh, if you uh, see the screen, it pretty much good sign. So by default, by default, 
the PHP MyBeam panel using uh, the admin username is root and the default password is not exist but I don't remember if I created the password if not if I'm not creating the password then yeah so see the password not exist it just it's just a cache my cache uh, cache browser uh, by default and stores in this password from somewhere else okay so if you run this it's gonna log you on to your database without any password for your local machine you don't have to have a password if you work in just your cell on this computer it doesn't make sense to have a password in this if you're running a web hosting of course you should have one so whenever you see the screen it means that you are right inside of your PHP MyBeam panel so now we have to create database just hover to your database and click on it so in your case you can create a create database just uh, set any names you like just my first <coughs> first uh, for instance database or if it's long enough for you just click uh, one db or something just create the name leave it this as default don't change anything on this option and click, uh, click create after that you should have listed your created new database on this list this is the default one information schema mysql performance sys sys that was all the fall created database that's the my database which is uh, running for wordpress and all other my application so whenever you see your database it means that you have running your local database on your php admin panel so after that you can easy go and install your WordPress onto your computer and after that you can configure your WordPress during the installation process which is connecting to your database you have to just give it the name of database exact same database name like you see over here in your case it could be different like I said and just link it to your database after you have set up your WordPress and link in your WordPress to this database your website should be running if you click on this uh, on this uh, link whenever you click on link and you link your wordpress to your database like i said before you click on this link and your website should be open up in my case like i said before it's not gonna open up because i change ports and um, for instance i'm gonna show what i mean so see it's by default selected php in my file but we don't need this form i'm just gonna erase it and select the port number forward slash and select uh what you like to connect to if you if you give your uh, website uh name like website or any name i give it to my website like my site because it's it's just uh for testing purposes so it's just doesn't make doesn't matter what's the name my website has and it's gonna sometimes it takes time to booty up your local WordPress page just give it time don't rush and as you can see that my website just boot up and it's running like the basic page and it's all the application plugin work like normally like if you were on the web hosting provider PHP might be you can just click just check it out if you set up previously your default zim on the WordPress you can check this out and it's running it's like a normal website you can comment it and all your common goals your database which is PHP might be panel pretty much it guys that's all it was short video tutorial for you guys how you can install and set up I'm not gonna and now that I'm not showing you guys the full part of the installation process when you click next uh, select uh, confirm your uh, settings all that stuff because I already installed but those steps pretty much easy step by step without anything they're gonna make you any problem with that 
the most part the user have experience with installation that's when a web server is not running on the local machine because of problem uh, related to the ports that's what I that's what I uh, got the problem with my installation and I have to edit it and check the setting uh, to make it work but that's if you want if you have this problem right now and you can run you cannot run your uh, web server on your local machine then you should uh, watch my next video how you can troubleshoot it and change the listening ports on your web server pretty much it guys like i said and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel or hit likes and i'll see you guys next time